I think everybody at one time or another has either grown sunflowers or at least enjoyed a sunflower in the house and a, a cut flower arrangement. And sunflowers are just one of those flowers that just scream summertime. And what's neat about it, they're extremely easy to grow. At one time, most sunflowers that we could find in the seed stores for our garden were these very tall, large sunflowers. These things got to be huge, 8, 10, 12 feet tall, great big, huge single flower, which are really dramatic in the garden. Oftentimes the head was harvested for seed that we could eat, left on the plant for the birds to eat, and just fun plants to grow. And still, these are quite good to use in the garden as maybe a background or a fence kind of a line thing. But there's been great improvements and advances in the sunflower and now has brought the sunflower down to a size that's even useful for small space gardens. Here you see a whole array of different types of sunflowers here in this children's garden that are basically 24 to 36 inches tall. And what's neat about these, they're multi-stem. So you get a whole bunch of flowers off of a plant as opposed to one large flower and that's it. And colors. We think of sunflowers as yellow or orange, and yes, we have yellow and orange, but also we have some that are variegated, kind of bronze and yellows, some that are almost black. You can pick out all different colors. There's also flower types and flower shapes. There's a traditional sunflower type of shape right here, where we have a flower with usually a dark center right here, but then we also have sunflowers that almost look like little pom-poms or powder puffs, very double kind of flower. So there's that kind of thing that can add interest to the garden. So again, Think of this as something that you can add variety and interest with just a sunflower. And the other thing that's interesting about sunflowers is that they don't require much. They like full open sunspot, well-drained soil. I often find that it's easier to grow a good sunflower if you direct sow them in the garden as opposed to growing transplants inside and moving them outdoors. So when you're thinking about sowing sunflowers, wait for the soil to be warm, wait for air temperatures to warm, direct sow them, and I think you'll have a better crop. Look at all the variety, look at all the fun. Enjoy sunflowers, both in the garden and as cut flowers in the house. Mm -hmm.